What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Wow, nearly tongue twisted myself right there. So, in our last episode, we we we, we took on some robotic lady. Now it is time for us to just like make this this storyline a little bit more juicy. It's gonna get juicy, guys. Trust me. Now we're gonna be moving on, and as always, we're gonna get a message from uh, whoever messages right here. And it's Emma, of course, and she's like, um, hello? Draven? <gasps> and I just hiccup. Uh, it's me, Elma. I received this holocaster thing, so I thought I'd try sending a, mes a message. I I hope it reaches you. I have something I want to ask you, so please come to the Luca Bureau when you have time. Okay, alrighty, so... Yeah, she's got... She's definitely got some explaining to do after all that stuff that she has caused. You know, she did try to steal my Pokemon, even though it hasn't been confirmed yet that it's been her or, or that it's in that robot suit or anything like that. So, here's Emma waiting with her her Mimi, and well, oh, you actually showed up. Hey, Draven, I was hoping to find Mr. Looker. I've been so busy lately that I, I, I I'm hardly ever here anymore. Do you have any idea where he is? He's at the hospital, I think. What? He's in the hospital? What's wrong with him? Now I'm even more worried than before. But I need more money to get to the hospital. Ah, uh, is that the time? I'm going to be late. I, I gotta go. Mimi, we'll talk to you. We'll talk later, Draven. Oh, wow. She is in a rush. And whoa, hold on just a sec. Before we can even get to, to Emma. Yeah, the homeboy right here is like, please pardon my intrusion. I would like to correct uh, to assume that this is the Lucre Bureau and that you might be Master Draven. I'm terribly sorry to intrude, intrude uh, upon you, but I have a request. But before we discuss the reason for my visit today, would you allow me to verify your strength, Master Draven? Sure. As expected, the confidence of a champion is unshakable. Please allow me to begin in battle at once. Oh, damn. Okay, alrighty, so here we go, guys. We're going to be battling against uh, Butler Chalmers. Pretty cool name. Superintendent Chalmers Skinner. So here we go, taking on a Bravari. And well, Gaia. The third. Gaia the third is about to destroy this uh, this Bravari soul right here. So let's go with a Thunderbolt. That's right, Thunderbolt. Finish it off. And there goes Bravari. Feeling so bad for it right now. And well, look at that. And Chalmers has been defeated. I see. He's only got one Pokemon, and you want to check my strength like that? Damn. Bring the whole team, man. Yes, as I suspected, your abilities and strength are without peer, Master Draven. Even I, a former admin of Team Flare, had no chance against you. Please forgive me for testing you. I am a mere servant sent here by order of my mistress. She told me to mis measure your skill and to proceed only if I judge you uh, to be able. Oh, goodness. Look at the time. My mistress is not a patient woman. If she is made, made to wait too long, she, the consequences are will be severe. Please, Master Draven, you must hurry to the hotel Rish, uh, Rish, 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 uh, uh Royal Suite at once. That's me reading. A Fire Woman and the Truth Revealed. Chapter 5. Look at that. Okay. So uh, let's go to the hotel room. Uh, Rishishimi. We just see me, see if you see me. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna go on a cab and just head on over there because I have no patience by just like just walking or skateboarding over there. So where the heck is a cab? Here it is. Talk to this guy. And well, let's see. Where do we go? Uh, facilities. Hotel, hotel, hotel. Where is the hotel? Another place. Hold on. Where is it? Okay, so not right there. The museum, Battle Institute, Prison Tower. Um, let's see, cafes, facilities, I've already been on facilities, okay, so it should have, damn, it should have already been there, so let's see, services, hotel, hotel, ah, there it is, hotel, resisissimi, alright, let's go, and he drives us over there, and that will cost me about 1,000 of these uh, beautiful dollars right here, so, Let's see who the, the mistress is. Now, she is up top, and I think we've already visited this place quite a, a while before. Didn't really find anything interesting, so I think she's in the third floor right here. And hopefully, we will find her. I don't know. Can we find her? Let's see, right here. And no, that is uh, not the that is not the room we're going to. Jeebus, uh, hey, Jiminy, Jiminy, Jiminy. Okay, where the heck are you? 
think I went to the wrong floor right here, guys. Let's see. Uh, nothing right here. Okay, so that could have been our suite right there. How about let's go to the number two floor. Let's see. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm probably going to be wrong. I don't even know. Let's see. Right here. Where is she? Nope. There's nobody right here. Okay, so it looks like to me she's going to be on the very top. I want to, I want to say that that's the place. Let's see. Where are you? Nobody. See, I don't like taking a visit. This is kind of like a visit, so... Let's see. Let's go to the very top floor. That's, that's right, the fifth floor right here. And, well, let's see. Hopefully, hopefully, just hopefully, this is the place right here. And, well... Ah, it is. And would you look at that. Took you long enough, Draven. It may happen that I have uh, I have need of your services, but I expect you to keep it in mind now, now or how valuable my time is. Oh, never mind. Just fight me. I can't possibly have a reasonable discussion when my emotions are so inflamed. I'm burning up with rage. Okay. Alrighty. So here it is, guys. Another battle. And this time it's against... Wow. Pokemon Trainer Malva. She's no longer Pokemon uh, Elite for Malva. So she does have one Pokemon right here. And it is a uh, lion. A female lion right here. Look at that. Pyroar. I love the theme. I love the song right here. That's right. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's very fun. Don't judge me, guys. So here we go. Psychic attack for the win. And Pyroar has been defeated. You see you see how easy I was? Look at that. Look at that. Strong AF. Fluff Bolt grows to level 75. And Malva, <laughs> not so happy right now. Alrighty, Malva. Enough for now. I brought you here for a reason. The first issue is to identify the identity of the trainer called Essentia. In truth, she is a simple young girl called Emma wearing a piece of special technology dubbed the Expansion Suit. The Expansion Suit was uh, created by Dr. Zerosic. I can see that that name means something to you. You remember him, I, can t I take it, one of the Team Flare scientists. This brings me to my request, young man. Make sure Zerosic disappears. I don't care how. If you need a reason, call it honor among thieves. Even we in Team Flare have uh, had our sense of pride. You may have uh, disagreed with us, but we are we were doing uh, we were doing what we thought was right, and I don't I won't let him sully our honor now. The hero of Kalos would hardly wish for the girl Emma to keep staining or staining her hands with these crimes as essentia. If you need help, uh, if you need to help the girl, you need to go to stop Sorosic, and that I can help you with. If you, if you, if we leave now, we should find him. Uh, we should find him at Lissandra Cafe. Don't dawdle. Be ready to face death if you go. Prepare well if you want to. Sh uh, want a shot of surviving, huh? So we might die. Okay, fuck it. Let's do it. Nobody can stop me. I am mighty, like Thor. Not good looking like him, but I am mighty. Okay, so the last time we were in the Lissandra Cafe, it was during that little doomsday thing where we eventually captured Xerneas. I think that's what its name is. Evital and Xerneas, yes, that's right. So, uh, let's go to a cab right here. Let's go to a cab. I have no freaking patience on, like, just skateboarding over there. So, let's go straight to this guy. Let's go to a cafe right here. No, that's a fine dining. Let's go to another place right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are ah, the cafe and Lissandre Cafe. Alrighty, so let's go to Magenta Pass. And here we are in front of Lissandre Cafe. 2,000 of those dollars right there. So like I said, last time we were here, we were trying to stop these guys, Team Flair. And well, oh my, aren't you a speedy one? Score one for you. I do hate to be kept waiting. Come on, I'll show you the way. Now, there was always one thing that I, I've always missed, and that was that, you know, Malva was a part of Team Flare at some point. And, as you can see, we are in the Lissandre Labs. She is waiting for us. You'll find Zerosic in the lab. It's a secret floor that only certain admins know about. You'll need to take the elevator. I'll just enter the special password and the panel right here. And voila! Now you have access to the secret floor of the Sandra Labs. You should find Zerosic and his Essentia there. The rest I leave to you. The secret floor has the same layout as this one. You defeated Team Flare once, right? Then it should be a piece of cake. 
Oh, and one more thing. Tell your partner of yours. Tell that infuriating man. Yes, tell him I fulfilled my end of the bargain. And we should keep in mind that what will happen to him if he doesn't do the same. Good day. Wow, she... She is hot when she is angry. Okay, so let's go straight down the middle right here. And we're going to be going straight to the hidden floor. Now, there will be Pokemon battles. But it is the same layout right here. And you will be finding some trainers. Hmm, who goes there? Who are you? What business do you have here? Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and start battling some Pokemon. Sonya, the scientist, hey, bringing out her Elgium. Well, your badass host right here coming out with Gaia number three. Okay, alrighty, so... You know, as I'm going, uh, as I'm getting closer to the end of this episode, or the end of this whole walk right here, guys, because trust me, after this, we got one more episode. One more, and then that's it. I'm just looking back at the stuff that, you know, that I've done. And, uh, you know, again, I'm very, very proud of how this walkthrough's come. Uh, if you guys remember when I was driving XC711, holy crud. Holy crud. We played this game in Japanese, and a lot of you guys did not view it. It wasn't until I got myself a capture card, a wireless capture card in English, that it, it all worked out. But then that was right around the time when I made the decision to just switch the name of the channel and everything. Uh, try it out again. And you know what? I, I will always keep on saying this. It was probably the best thing that, could, that I could ever have done. And that was delete my older videos of Draven XC711 and start off new. Because look at this. We are almost done with Pokemon X. Something that we never thought we'd do. We've had quite a few walkthroughs finished right here. And, well, you know, it, it, it just get, it keeps on getting better, guys. Everything just keeps on getting better. And it's all thanks to you guys for the uh, unwavering support. Now, let's go right here and just solve this whole puzzle right now. I'm like, oh, crud. Okay, so let's see. It's usually the green one. Red, a yellow one right there is, you know exit strategy and look at this we're just spitting just like in team rocket and we're gonna be found out by a pokemon trainer right here so let's go ahead and give Gaia number three a rest and let's go with bone saw it's been a while since i used bone saw right here okay hmm who might you be are you a new hire no i'm not so yeah now this is the success of this whole channel is I kind of want to say it's a good thing, but it's a bad thing too. But it, it, it all happened because of the pandemic that we are still going through, guys. Technically, we are still in a pandemic. Uh, as I am recording this episode, yesterday I took my last shot for this pandemic. Trust me, I'm kind of feeling it right now. But it, it's not going to deter me from, you know, from this right here. From making the walkthroughs and whatnot. Plus, I am on my week off, so... This right here was a surprise to me that I would be actually finishing off Pokemon X and getting it to you guys uh, in a later date right here. So, again, proud of myself. Happy that, you know, everything actually worked out during the pandemic, as you probably already noticed. Came out with a boatload of, uh, of walkthroughs. Lots and lots of walkthroughs, this one included. And I can say that we are up to date with most of the Pokemon uh, walkthrough artists out here on YouTube. Um... Can't wait till the newer games come out. Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap game will be coming out pretty soon here too, guys. There's another side walkthrough that we can actually play. I just gotta learn it, you know. Gotta learn it. I said it was gonna come out in May, but yeah, I kind of screwed that up because of my busy ass schedule and stuff. So let's see. Let's move on right here and find our way around this whole area right here. Oh god. And as you can see, this is a close. So now we're gonna have to find our way elsewhere and it looks like to me we kind of screwed up just a tad bit so let's see we're gonna have to go right here and you know what let's go ahead and try out the yellow the yellow uh, dot right here and well it looks like we are in the beginning again so now we're starting over and we're gonna have to go right here and well let's go right here and take care of that and well let's go up here and find our way around let's see so there's no way uh, there's no way else so let's see we're gonna have to shoot 
crap on a crapsicle stick. Okay, so we kind of screwed up right here. Oh, no, we didn't screw up. Okay, so we are actually progressing right here. And let's go right here. And we are seeing another trainer now. Obviously, the location is the place... Well, the, the, the final location is a place where it's not blocked. So, it's not right there. But we will be battling this girl right here. And, well, let's see. Oi! Are you trying to sneak in somewhat? But wait! I know what your mug of yours. I know that mug of yours. So we're facing off against this girl again, Sedna. No, we haven't. Yeah, we haven't seen her since you know the second episode, I think. Holy crud! Okay, so here we go, taking on Sedna again, and she is coming out with a Mandibuzz, pretty powerful one. Let's go right ahead and use an Outrage Attack because it is our strongest move. Look at this, Outrage Attack. Brutality on the Mandibuzz, holy crud. And of course, Mandibuzz using its Dark Pulse attack. Not giving an inch, but here we go. Outrage for the win. And there we go. Say goodbye to Mandibuzz. Oh yeah, and well, there's confusion right there, but it's okay. She only had one Pokemon. And look at that, level 72, just as a, as a token of ours. And look at that, Sedna has been defeated. Okay, so let's see. We don't necessarily need to talk to her, but I kind of feel like we need to go right here. And did I screw up? I probably did. Probably didn't. So if we go through this little loophole, and yeah, that's not the, the, the right place right here. So let's see. This one will send us right here, and we're just going to check the perimeter to see where we got to go. And. All right, if we go down this hole right here, it will take us a little further upward right here, and... Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's see. I think I screwed it up right here again. Huh. What if we go right here? This will actually take us... Ah, oh, crud. It's like... Yeah, it's going to reverse. Okay, so let's try this one more time. I think I should have... Yeah, that's not going to be it. Let's go right here. And this one will take us nowhere, I think. Crap. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to start all over again. That's what it's looking like to me. God dang it. Getting me all dizzy and all that crud. Okay, so we've... Ah, crud. Oh, I was about to hit that. Okay, so let's go right back over here and start all over. Down here, and let's go up here onto the green button. And alrighty, let's go up here. Where will this take us? Right here. So now we have to go up top. That will not take us right there. So our goal is to get to that guy who's blocking the way. And chances are we have to go right here. So now, we've already been there. This one will lead us right up here. Yeah, it will lead us right up there. Um, crud. Let's see. That takes us right there. So we're going to have to go right here. And... Where in the HE Double Hockey Sticks is this taking me? Good gravy. Okay, so right here. So now this is the tricky part right now. I've already been there. Okay, so how about down the middle right here? And it takes us right here, which I think... Yes. Okay, more progress. I'm working here, so buzz off. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going to take on Iris. I think we've already faced her too, so here she comes out with a Pangoro. Doesn't look strong. I mean, I did defeat it in a few episodes ago, so here we go. That's right, Bone Saw. And well, let's see. Now we could use an earthquake attack just to make it a little easier for Bone Saw. And well, this earthquake attack does the trick. Pangoro could not get up another attack right there. And well, here she's coming out with a Bufalon. So let's go straight to Goku. Goku, you're about to kick some butt. Thick names. Do everything in between. Because you are Goku right here. And well, Bufalon. Looking all mean and everything, so let's go with a close combat. 
a close cousin of Taro's, and there goes Bufalant. Look at that. Say goodbye to Bufalant. Okay, and everything else, that's good right there, and Iris has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so what is next right here? Now, we could go right here. This could take us to the last part, which should be. And, well, let's see. Not going there. So let's go ahead and battle another guy right here. Where in the world did you come from? You're suspect. Very suspect. Oh, uh, well. I came from uh, the heavens. And here we have a scientist named Justice with a U. And he's coming out with his muck. And, again, I keep on saying this every single time, but muck looks like it's flipping us off. So we're gonna we're gonna situate that with uh, you know an earthquake attack and hopefully this well X special defense doesn't you know make it survive or anything but here comes earthquake and there goes muck oh yes okay alrighty and well justice with the U has been defeated and well what's next I think we have to go through here and this one will actually take us right in front of this guy so let's go ahead and switch out. And, well, let's go straight back to Gaia number three, because I think he does have a Drudigon. Talk to this guy. If it ain't Draven, what's cooking? Eh, that's your line, eh? Well, I got a, got onto a part-time job as a security guard, see? And they got us in with the boss here, but I don't know why they, they want a guard. Ain't seen hide nor hair nor nothing. Right bored I am. Hey, how about uh, we have a little battle to keep uh, me on my toes? Sure. Right. I'll give you all my all. You better not expect another easy win like the last time at the station. So to me, it kind of it kind of looks like these guys don't know what's going on. But they got themselves a job. That's good. But they still don't know what's going on. So we're gonna we're, we're definitely gonna correct this whole thing right here. So let's go with the rough skin and well, <sighs> Drudagon. I I I. Oh crap. Yeah, I wanted to go with, uh, what you call Dazzling Gleam, but my dumbass decided to press the other button. And, well, that one hits us pretty hard. And what is it? Is that Dynamic Punch? Rough Skin. And look at that. Using its own weapon against it, say goodbye to Drudagon. Alright, so Kukadel will be next. Let's go ahead and bring out Kakashi Hitake, ready to kick some butt right here. Alrighty, what's next? Kakashi Hideki ready to beat some ass right here with this Kukadal and well there's an intimidate take a little bit of our uh, or a little bit of our attack so here we go surf attack hopefully that does the trick and yes Kukadal defeated what now what now and Goku grows to level 78 and Godzilla Godzilla to level 82 right here and Nyx has been defeated and he's like you seriously strong mm-hmm well, let's see. Man, I lost in no time flat. You're something, that's for sure. It was fun while it lasted, but it's still going to be a long grind until my uh, shift ends, you know. I'll allow as I have uh, an idea. Come here a sec. So we're going to go inside and, well, you have to talk to this guy. Here we go, yo. Nobody's supposed to be followed in, you know. Which makes you think about something's uh, epic's locked up in here. It stands for a reason. I ain't got nothing going on at the moment, so let's be having us a little look-see. For stacks of treasures. Huh. And it is someone's Pokeball. Now, there are lots of Pokeballs right here that you cannot take. Do not know why, but if you read some of these things right here, let's see. Expansion suit P specs. One, physical enhancement. Heinz, is, uh, Heinz physical abilities of the wearer with built-in muscle enhancing technology. Number two, Pokeball Jack. A hacking cable that on the neck piece that allows a wearer to upload a computer virus to the Pokeballs to override their systems. This provides access to control of the Pokemon. The virus also magnifies the Pokemon's power. Number three, surface texturing optically disguises the wearer based on the current understanding of Kecleon and Ditto's physical transformations. Number four, remote control. Remote control of the suit uh, protects against the, the risk of wear going red again. All personalities are programmed, modeled on the common trainer types. When the suit is controlled remotely, the wearer's consciousness is suppressed. The wearer experiences a coma-like state. Hmm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. What's good, my friend? Find anything yet? 
maybe hitting a, a, on those bookshelves or such like. There's got to be something. Check every corner. Hmm. How about this? Nope. How about here? Expansion suit, field trials, secret records, volume two. The on the XX day of the XS month, a long last uh, response came my um, my advertiser for a part time work. The subject's name is Emma. She is healthy, healthy girl, 16 years old of age. When I attempted to explain the intent of my research, she gave a little sign of, un of understanding. She does appear to understand the passion I have to put in into the research, and she showed interest in continuing with the trials. Now that the team, pro now that Team Flair has been disbanded, my funds are running severely low. I hired her on the spot. The trials must proceed with no time lost. First, I'll measure Emma's physical and mental abilities to ensure she can compete the trials, complete the trials. On the excess day, on the excess month, I have customized a suit to better fit Emma's frame. And then I have de designated the code name Essentia to be used when Emma is wearing the expansion suit. Hmm. That's, that's kind of weird. Anything, maybe, uh, okay, every corner, so now... We've got to find every corner right here, guys. And there is nothing right here except for probably right here. I'm still trying to read. Okay, so volume number three. As we make the final preparations for the trials, a new trouble strikes. I have learned that Emma has no experience as a Pokemon trainer. With little or other choice, I am forced to instruct the girl on the basics. I have, in, I have lent po Emma my own Pokemon and in and I'm instructing her with the skills needed to be in a Pokemon trainer. However, my Pokemon seem only to wish to play with the girl. They show no desire to engage battle. Their behavior is most puzzling. They have never shown signs of being particularly friendly nor reluctant to battle. Their playfulness is a determinant to the trials. I will have to control the suit remotely in order to have any chance of starting a, the trials on, in time. So that's three... And, well, let's see. Where's number four right here? Let's see. Finally, the trials are underway. The first trial is designated to test the suit's physical capabilities. Using the texturing function, the subject has infiltrated the close, closely guarded art museum and left an insignia of a historial mural. The remote control function has worked without complications thus far. Emma shows no ill effects from her time in the suit. Her memory is blank. When questioned, she describes her experience as taking a nap. Perhaps I will give her a bonus in, cel in celebration of the success of trial. Okay, so that's three, or that's four. And anything? Okay, number five. Trials begin of a key part of the expansion suit, the hacking cable I've called the Pokeball Jack. With the texturing functions enabled, the uh, subjects battles trainers around the city. She then collects the Pokeballs from the trainers she defeats so she, can, she may use it in our tests. The results of the test have been quite favorable thus far. However, these trials have not been entirely free from incident. Some apparent acquaintances of Emma are proving to be a hindrance to our progress. Among these acquaintances is a boy who appears to be the new champion, but is not yet confirmed. We encountered a glitch in the remote control programming and I lost control for a brief period. Fearing possibilities on Emma, I suspended the trials temporarily. When we returned to the secret base, I examined the girl for signs of damage, but she appeared to be unharmed. She still retains no memories from her intervals in the suit. The one thing she admitted was experiencing a frightful dream. Okay, so that was four, and good gravy. So we're going to have to read everything. Just every single little thing right here. And, well, let's see. Nothing right here. Nothing right here. How many trials did you do, man? Like, this is kind of messed up right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Maybe here. Nope. Every corner right here. Okay, so make preparations new. For the trial, a new trouble strikes. I have learned that Emma has no experiences. Oh, okay, we've already read this. All right, we've already read this, and I'm assuming that we have to go right here. And volume one. Okay, never mind. Okay, so maybe it's the top one right here. Physical enhancements and all that crud. And, well... What else is there? Volume two. Okay, so we already we've already been through all of these. I think. Let's see. Someone's Pokeball. Someone's Pokeball. What about this? 
Nope, someone's Pokeball. Someone's Pokeball. Alright, we're gonna have to check every single little thing right here. And, well, we've already read all of this. So I'm assuming that... Let's see. Volume 5. Dispatch to Hacking Cable. Okay, we've already read that part right there. So we gotta look for number 6 right here. So it might be the bottom one right here. Okay, so let's see. Come on. Nothing right here. Right here, right here. Okay, so there's nothing. Right here. Damn. And volume three. Okay, so let's see. I think that's all of it right there. So, hey, where's the hurry? Come on, get down here. It gets boring. Okay. Okay, so there's just Pokeballs in papers like. Those Pokeballs uh, got to belong to somebody who stands there for a reason. I promised Mr. Looker, and uh, what's more, I meant it. I won't take Pokeballs that aren't mine. And we get a bell going on right here. And, whoa, my shift is finally ending. I'm out. See you later, bruh. Be sure to shut the place and go uh, Draven. Okay, okay. All right, so let's see. We got to pick up a ball. And, well... We gotta pick up the balls right here. So we already read everything, and it seems like to me we're gonna have to go right here. And uh, people need to stop texting me. That's ridiculous. Okay, so, so I think that's pretty much it. But no, hmm. Why did the why did the remote control malfunction only on one time? Do I need to do more simply than put her in a state of sleep? And, well, let's see. Hold on just a sec. Two, three. Oh, shit! I just got some news. And this is from my brother. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be an uncle of a baby girl again. Oh, my God. Yes! Victorious! I feel victorious. I'm going to be the best damn uncle ever. Again. <laughs> so shout out to my brother and my sister-in-law for their baby ba reveal of a new baby girl. Hell yeah. So anywho, going right here. Do I need to uh, do more simply than put her in her sleep? Must I subdue her spirit too? No, no. Doing that would put far too great of a strain upon uh, Emma's mind. Ooh, you're the boy from the glitch trial. You've been interfering in my research. Very well. You will be the next subject for my trials. If Essentia can defeat you in an inspection in the inspection suit, then it, that is proof necessary to show my research has been correct from the start. Come, Essentia! Oh, damn. Ninja. Now battle my battle. Now battle! Battle my Essentia! Okay, so here we go. Another battle. Pokeball Jack function. In initiated virus potentially set to 60%. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Finally battling against Essentia. And, well, she will be coming out with a Jellicent. Now, we do have to battle this person three times. No joke, guys, we do have to battle Je Jellicent three times. So, or no, not Jellicent, but Essentia three times right there. So, here we go. Thunderbolt. Nearly does it, and well, here comes a, uh, well, this, this Pokemon right here does a rainy day. It's just screwed up its chances to win. So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. Look at that. Say goodbye. Alrighty, okay. And well, let's see what's going on. Volcarona, it will be coming up next. So let's go right ahead and use Kakashi Hitake with this whole uh, boost up of uh, power right here with the... Uh, the rain dance and everything. So let's go get it, do it, bring it on, Volcarona. You're looking all mean and everything, but guess what? You will not survive the surf. Here we go. Surf attack for the win. Say goodbye to Volcarona. I am happy. Look at this. Level 80 Kakashi Hitake. Kicking ass, taking names, everything else in between. Da 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 dot. Okay, all right, Essentia. Bring it. Astonishing, more than satisfactory. But Essentia skills go far beyond this. Now battle, battle on my Essentia. All right, 
Pokeball Jack function initiated. Virus potency set to 70%. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. So here's a battle number two against Essentia. And she will be coming out with a Wimps Scott. Okay. I can do this. Just gotta shake my arms a little, you know. Get them all right for what's about to happen. You know, me kicking Wimps Scott uh, butt. So let's go with a good old psychic attack right here. And that does the trick. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay, look at that doing more damage than anything and here she's coming out with a mawile so let's go straight to godzilla godzilla oh yeah let's go let's go and well here we go with a uh, godzilla godzilla versus mawile right here so let's go with a flare blitz attack right now and bam down goes mawile oh yeah Goodbye, goodbye, alrighty. Okay, so here comes Gramble, so let's go ahead and uh, go with Goku right here. See what's gonna what's gonna happen right now. Alrighty, Goku looking a uh, beastly right now, and well here comes a Gramble. Believe it or not, it is actually a fairy type Pokemon, so Let's go right ahead and use a poison jab attack right here. And look at this. Poison jab nearly does a trick because of that intimidate. And oh wow. Kicked our butt right there. But guess what? Poison jab is going to do the thing. There we go. Poison jab for the win. Say goodbye to Granville. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And Essentia has been defeated. And we get ourselves some more experience points. But guess what? We still have to battle Essentia one more time. Wonderful. Magnificent. But Essentia is only getting started. Now battle. Battle on my Essentia. Pokeball Jack function initiated. Virus poten potency set to 80%. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Round number three against Essentia. And she will be coming out with her Persian. So this is a total of six Pokemon right here. And well, I got no issue with this. Let's go ahead and just finish him off. Persian. Time to uh, well, go to the Shadow Realm right here because uh, Gaia can do it. And look at that. Say goodbye to Persian. No more. Alrighty, okay. And well, Fluffle Girl goes to level number 76. And Essentia has been defeated. It doesn't look like it's happy at all. Come on, come, come. We could still go on, or are you worn out? Too bad that the Essential will never experience physical or mental fatigue as long as she wears the suit or the expansion suit I, that I have designed. Now battle, battle on my Essential. Mar, what? Oh, look at this, that is enough. What? Who are you two and why are you here? Mimi is a psychic type Pokemon. It is, it's only nat uh, natural that it could find the friend of whom it opened its heart to. You can't just barge into a private residence like this. This is a crime. That may have been true had we forced our way into the property. However, all we did was step into a open wide ele elevator. Notwithstanding that, Draven is the partner of the Great Looker. We're here in trouble, or we're we're he in, or were he in trouble? I would follow the highest heights to uh, and fathomless depths. Wow. Holy crap. Grr. Still, you will not capture me. Go, Essentia. Get them all. Dot, 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 dot. Stop this, Emma. Mar! It's useless, you fools. Nothing can, uh, nothing you try will work. Uh, will work. Emma cannot hear you. The one in control of Essentia is uh, is not Emma, but me. Can you hear me, Emma? If you can wake yourself, I know you can break free from the suit. Awaken! Open your eyes! Emma! Emma! And... Uh, well, as you can see, isn't the power of science amazing? There's no way she can, she will hear you now. Well, yeah. Of course, Mimi's like, hold my beer. More, more! Mimi, get back! More! And look at that. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Essentia's looking all mean and everything, and he's like, ugh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's doing something and it's losing control. As you can see, it just, it's, whoa! What, how could this be happening? Not a problem though, watch this. Remote control function, set to maximum output. Uh-oh, 
Uh, Draven, you must go. Stop Emma for me. And well, I gotta, I gotta stop her. But she looks like she's struggling herself right there. Ugh. And we got one more battle again by Essentia, and she, well, is coming out with a crowbat and everything. I don't know where she got that, but I think that's a little bit more than the six Pokemon that you uh you need. So. Let's go right ahead and just destroy this Crobat right here. So let's go with a Psychic Attack. And here comes a Poison Fang just to make us feel a little bit poisoned. And yeah, we did get poisoned, which is ridiculous. So here goes Psychic Attack. And that is a super effective. Say goodbye to Crobat. And well, we're getting poisoned. We're getting hurt. So that is that right there. And well... Here she's going to come out with a Malamar, so let's go right ahead and go with Kakashi Hitake just to make sure we don't get poisoned or get hurt by the poison right here. So here we go, Kakashi Hitake ready to take on a Malamar right here. Now this is both a Psychic and uh, Psychic and Dark type Pokemon, so I probably should have went with, uh, what's his name, with Bonesaw since it does have, I think, a Bug type move. But here comes a Night, a Night Blade or Night... I don't even know what to call it, but here we go. Surf attack for the win. And look at that. Malamar has been defeated. Gattaca. Look at that. And Bonesaw grows to level 73 without doing anything. And look at that. Sinch is like, wah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. There are no more Pokeballs. You must stop fighting, Emma! Uh-oh. That does not look good. Gah! No, Emma, what can I do? Gah! Remote control, power down, deactivate! Gah! Emma, are you alright? All I did is turn off the remote control capability. There was never any danger to the girl. What? Hmm. Yawn. Hmm? Oh, Dr. Zerosik. Are we all done for today? Yes, my girl. We're done. You did a good job, Emma. The trials are now complete. I'm afraid your job is all over. Oh, really? Then I guess I gotta start looking for a new job again. Huh. Wait, why is everybody here? I thought it was a secret that I was working here. Emma, are you alright? Hmm. What do you mean? I was just taking a nap. My job here was really easy. All I had to do was wear this. Well, what, wear this suit while I snoozed away. What are you doing here, Mr. Looker? I thought that you were at the hospital. Uh, <laughs> no. You see, I got uh, special permission to check myself out to the uh, hospital. I had to make sure that you were okay, Emma. I had to see you, so I found out there where, where you worked and came to find you. Oh, I see. I was afraid you might be mad because I started working without telling you. I kept it a secret all this time. You really are a great detective, aren't you, Mr. Looker? You found me anyway. Naturally. Now, Emma, how about you go get some dinner? I need to have a little grown-up talk with Dr. Sorosic here. Oh, sure, no problem. We'll head, uh, we'll head out there now. Let us go together, Mimi. You and you too, Draven. Oh, damn. Okay, so, yeah, she has no idea what's going on right here now. As you can see, they're having a little bit of a grown-up talk, and they're like, that may be that, but I think it's time you and I have a little chat, Dr. Sorosik. Of course. Why would I mind having a chat with you, Looker? Or should I, or so you're apparently called? Oh, wow. So you're apparently called, and well, they're having that little grown-up talk, and he's like, Ahem, let us get down to it. I would like to straighten this out before Emma returns. Dr. Zerosik, could you please confirm one small thing for me? The criminal mastermind behind all these incidents was you yourself? Oh, right enough. The graffiti in the art museum and the theft of the trainer's uh, Pokeballs? All me controlling Essentia remotely with the expansion suit. Emma was clinically unconscious in the suit. Her mind had no clue what her body was doing. She has zero responsibility for any of the crimes. You need not to doubt her. That's how it is. If you're apprehending anyone, it should be me alone. <clears throat> for a minute, let's say I believe your statements. 
You had better believe it. Emma's a fine person. She may be a little a bit foolish, but she's strong and clear in her purpose. Yes, clarity. It is required when one dedicates oneself to the angle or the single pursuit. Clarity of the heart and the purpose is needed if work such as my research is to succeed. The expansion suit that I dreamed of could only have been created thanks to well, let's see, thanks to the clear dedication of that girl's heart. When you add that all up, it means that I have no regrets. Take me away, officer. I hear you. Once I had everything in order, I will ask you to accompany me to the station. And then, the, and that is I, all I have to say to you as Looker, the International Police. What I can say, or what I say to you now, I say simply, Mr. Looker, young Emma's guardian. Hmm. Would you care to stay and visit a while longer with Emma and me? She seems to have grown quite fond of you, you know. We are all about to have dinner together, and she was hoping you would join us. <clears throat> I would like to wait until tomorrow after she has enjoyed the last cheerful night before I must tell her the truth. Dr. Zerosik. Looker, whatever your, truler, your, your name truly is, your soft words are unexpected, but not unappreciated. Thanks. Oh, damn. So that's a big grown-up talk right there. Big, 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 big grown-up talk. And, well, that is chapter five right there, guys. So that means we got one more chapter, one more episode to this whole walkthrough. I have been having a lot of fun, so stay tuned, guys, for the next episode, the final episode of Pokemon X right here on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>